shirts now y'all when these 30 shirts i got 30 shirts now when they gone i'm gonna drop the uncle bucket show i just got sell 30 for shirts i had 100 i had 100 shirts i only got 30 left when i sell these last 30 i just sent out 70 orders i don't know receipt this motherfucker wrong i got 30 shirts left if i sell 30 more shirts then i'm gonna drop the uncle bucket show so until then fuck it just cash out be seventy five dollars. Address, name, zip code, size, and it'll be sent to your door. That easy. If you don't support me, you can't tell me what to do in here. When I tell a motherfucker this, just say this. If I get on live and be like somebody that got an Uncle Bucket shirt or somebody that got a Bob's a son TV shirt. Hit the button. If you got a Bob's Son TV shirt on, when you hit the button, I'm going to cash out for you $100 right now. You wouldn't even be prepared, would you? Matter of fact, I make somebody a deal. I get somebody $50 right now if they got a Bob's Son t-shirt on. If somebody got a Bob's Son TV shirt, if anybody got their Bob's nah, they ain't they ain't get there yet. I can't say that. I got to wait. I got to wait. I got to wait. They ain't get there yet. The orders ain't out. I just didn't run down. I'm going to do some random shit like that. Like, if you got a Bible on t t-shirt, hit the button. If you hit the button, I'm going to give you $100 cash out right now. You say $75 left my ass off. No, you want to know what's crazy? You laughing at $75. If $75, like if you care about spending seventy five dollars, like if you care about that, like if seventy five dollars to make you make a decision in your life, you need to question yourself. Like don't laugh at the seventy five dollars. And if you think seventy five dollars is too much, if you think it's too less, if you question yourself about seventy five dollars, you're not in the real world. I can lose seventy five dollars and like I'm not even gonna have an attitude about it. I'm gonna have an attitude but not an attitude. That makes sense. Like I gotta keep pushing shit on me though. So if 75, that's 75 you laughing at, if that shit hurt you, your little ass skinty over there, your little ass bounty. Pockets bounty and shit over there. One trying to sound sweet though as well. Uncle Bucky, y'all know. Uncle Bucky loose. Yeah, yeah, skinny, skinny, yeah, shit over there, bony, little pockets, bony, <laughs> got the bony pockets. My shirt's 25, we move in Middleton, all oh, 2023, your shirt's 25, you gotta think about this, bro, a Miri shirt's be 25, but when the Miri put his name on that motherfucker, that motherfucker be like 725. It ain't the shirt. It ain't the quality. It's the brand. It's the name on the shirt. It's the meaning behind the shirt. You feel what I'm saying? It's never the shirt. All this shit come from China, bro. If they slap Gucci on this motherfucker, you feel what I'm saying? If Gucci put Gucci on here and sold this motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying, bro? They all that shit come from China for the same price, bro. Yeezy's probably cost a dollar to make. You can buy it for two hundred from Adidas, but you go to a reseller, the motherfucker might be six hundred. Shit, shit be different. I'm a salesman, bro. I'm a businessman, bro. It's like this is greatness, bro. Like no funny, it might don't seem like that to you, but I'm setting history, bro. It's like history. It's like y'all think Amazon started off big as shit, bro. They started off in the shit. Everything you ever see today started off small. Like nothing started off just big as shit, bro. Everything started off small. I'm just starting out. Like this is small. You feel what I'm saying? We have witnessed history. If you can see a reality TV show of Amazon blowing up from the garage all the way to where Amazon is today, you'll be fascinated. 
sit back and watch greatness. This shit like greatness, bro. I'm setting boundaries out here, bro. I'm making history. It don't feel like you history right now, but it's history in the making. That's why I don't feel like history. Later on in life, this should be history. Ten years from now, this should be in history, bro. What I did ten years from now would be in history, bro. It say no hate and shit, but you ain't Yeezy or Amiri, bro. You got to think about this, bro. I am Yeezy. I am Amiri, bro. Yeezy is a person. I'm a person. They got an LLC. I got an LLC. They got a brand that sell clothes. I got a brand that sell clothes, bro. They popular. I'm popular. What the fuck do they have that I don't have? A price, bro? What the fuck? I am them. In my own world, I am them. This shit is mine. I own this shit. Now, Yeezy don't got no say-so on this shit. All my fucking, uh... Whoever the other motherfucker was, that Mary, this is my shit, bro. The same way a Mary wear a Mary, the same way easy wear easy, I wear my own shit. It's my shit, bro. I am. Don't ever let that go over your head. Your shit just you. Your brand don't mean nothing. Fuck. Yeah, if you can't afford it, just don't say nothing. Shut out your bracket. Shut out your bracket. Keep trying to sound sweet. If you knew everything, you would be everything. I ain't got time to argue with you every day. Matter of fact, hit the button. Hit the button, y'all. I don't want to argue. I'm done arguing. I'm going to see if I can use this voice all day. I'm going to try to use this voice right here all day. The same voice. That's my goal for the day. I, to, from now on, I'm going to come on here with task. My task for the day is to keep this same voice. No matter if I get into an argument or whatever, I cannot go over this tone. I say, I feel you, but it's no for me. But shine on, gang. I can't afford it. I choose to buy something else with it. Yeah, that's your life. Just think about your life and my life. You coming to me telling me about shit in your life. I ain't telling you shit about none of my life. I don't even give a fuck if you right here watching. You care if you right here talking, though. Respectfully. I wasn't talking to you, sir. I know you wasn't. You know not to get disrespectful with me. You know what the fuck is up with me, cuz. Do create an interview, Aunt. I'm tired of making niggas famous. I'm gonna make myself famous first. I'm not doing nothing to nobody for nobody until I get a million dollars. I don't care. I'm gonna do this my way till I get a million. I gotta take care of myself first. I'm on a million dollar mission. Until then, no. The answer is no to everybody. You can't disrespect nobody on here, nigga, because I send your ass to the block, dick. Nigga, you can't disrespect nobody, even if you wanted to. Nigga, I could disrespect you. You couldn't say nothing about it. Nigga, it's my show. Stay your punk ass in the bleachers. Okay, if my mouth ass is blowing, tell me what you see now. Hold on, look. Look now. Tell me what you see. I'm going to better your vision. Fucking idiot. I'm a woman, sir. Well, go suck some dick. Respectfully. I know it's a nigga in your phone that woke up with blue balls. Like, go slap a nigga dick across your face or something. Like, do something with yourself. Brush your teeth with some cum. Go be a female. Leave me the fuck alone. I ain't your nigga. You woke up the glizzy. You woke up talking to me. Talk to the nigga who fucking you. Talk to the nigga who you get that pussy to. Go speak to him. Like, why you wake up talking to me? Fuck. Smack a dick across your face or something. I don't give a fuck. Keep talking to me 
type shit. Like, go talk to a nigga you texting. Like, you wake up talking to me. You ain't even FaceTime him. Done. It's lunch break. Damn. I don't even want to make you feel bad. You done. It's lunch break. You on lunch break? My bitch in the living room making breakfast. She don't know what the fuck a job feel like right now. We live in greatness. Her nigga wouldn't dare let her work a fucking nine to five. Fuck you fucking a nigga that won't take you over your ankles. First of all, this is not to the people that work regular. This is just to her, y'all. Nobody put yourself in this. I'm only talking to her. This only apply to her. Bitch, you fucking a nigga. Sucking a nigga dick and you still got to go to work for that little ass 1500 every two weeks. Fuck out of here. I get my girlfriend 1500 right now for nothing. Fuck. I give her 1500 every two weeks just for being my fucking girlfriend. So you crummy ass. Tell me what you see now. Say, wow, whoop de do. We ain't tripping, baby girl. Just think about where you at. Think about where my bitch at. My bitch is in the living room, enjoying herself, eating food, chilling, doing womanly shit. Your shit on Aunt Glizzy Live. <laughs> Two type of bitches in this world. I'm just here to tell you. And I'm gonna call her to the door for nothing. I'm gonna call her just for nothing. Hey, Lou, yeah. come here real quick. Come here real quick. Mm. I ain't gonna ask one but I told them I'm gonna call you and you can come. No, do that. It's on there, it's out there. Are you rolling? No, you gotta roll. Bitch. Fuck the door, I was supposed to. Oh, that's why you never know me. I'm gonna be right in one of the Fuck yeah, I was just gonna run with all of these shirts. The fuck out. Oh, you thought that's why I moved the phone? Nope. Mm -hmm. My bad. I just want to hug. I just want to hug. And bitch, your ass at work right now. Fuck it. <laughs> you on your lunch break, Chipotle bowl eating ass, your little lower back sore shit, your sock sweaty and shit, your feet hurt and your mind fucked up because you don't really want to go for that money. You just going though because without that money, you can't make that money. Up. Now let the money make you. That girl in that kitchen cooking breakfast, your shit standing on them hard ass ankles, man. Get all the bagels. <laughs> your name Queen and you living like a motherfucking butler. <laughs> they say, what's up with Cray saying he the mop? Well, Will is cousin, he might be the mop. If Will is nephew, he definitely might be a mop. If Will I always say he bopping, he might be the mop. <laughs> Cray don't even got no guts. <laughs> Niggas just want to be Ag Lizzy protege. Whatever Ag Lizzy If I'm the red, he want to be the blue. <laughs> be your motherfucking self. That's what the fuck niggas need to be. They motherfucking self. Only thing about my arguments, I can't really get into it, niggas. Niggas ain't got shit. Like, they ain't got shit. Niggas still on. Niggas living like Ag Lizzy was living in 2019. It's like the 20th century. Niggas still living like that. Niggas do. Niggas still doing it for the 2000s, for the early 2000s. Hold on. Hold on.
Nine for the two thousand. It say your girl sell fake shirts her job. Fake shirts. My girlfriend can sell whatever the fuck she wants to sell. I wanna get a fuck with it. it was fake, real this thing what you said. You said she sell. So basically So basically Everything. Yeah, they're wow, it's like when I mean, it's not big, but they're right. When it when it's like that, it's probably you gotta reburn it. That shit, this shit wasn't really burnt. It was just sitting out, get hot. You just gotta reburn it and crunch. It. Probably like we might go with even crunch. It. I got it. I fix it. It's not. Let me know. What blew at? Blew out or in the cage? They say, nah, for real, food department. You keep talking about food and all this and all that. Just think about this. My bitch got a 2023 Aroli. No job. Do what the fuck she want to do. What she want to do? She live the life you working for. She don't even like nobody kids. Nobody. Long as she ain't on a nigga live at 9 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock in the morning, I don't really think I care about nothing else. I don't think nothing worse than being on a nigga, random nigga live at 12 o'clock at night. I mean, 12 o'clock in the morning acting like you that bitch. Like, you is not that bitch. It's no bad bitches waking up going to a random nigga live. Like, why? You don't FaceTime one of them niggas and tell them take your pit bull looking ass on a date. They say fake teeth, fake ass, fake clothes, it's crazy. Fake page. You on a fake page. You feel what I'm saying? Like, just think about it. Like, you just said all that fake shit, you on a fake page. Fake comment, fake opinion. Just think, like, like all jokes aside, just think. You on a fake page. <laughs> Y'all be smacking yourself. I don't even really got to say that. Like, you on the fake page. You left that part out. <laughs> they say all the dick rides is crazy. They all here too. You call it dick ride. You got to think about this though. I don't need you for nothing. I don't need you to follow me, watch me, comment or nothing. That's something you want to do. Your day got born that you want to do that shit. This shit one-sided. You can see me. I can't see you. You watching me. I can't see your face expression. Like, I'm the only one here. You're not really here for real. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you're not even here. You feel like you're here. You're here in spirit. You're here in words. you like a soul. You're here in typing. You can type it. Like, you can see me. We couldn't see you. Like, 
I control this. Like, you see me? Like, where are you? Like, you don't exist. You can, you like, you can, you exist in a paper. Room. Make it make sense to me. It don't even be making sense. You gonna hold your phone. First of all, I'm angling. I'm not holding my phone for an hour for nobody. So for you to hold your phone like this and type and talk, you a bad motherfucker. You should just work for me. I might need a motherfucker to get a job. How old is this old ass man? You worrying about how old motherfuckers is. You still on live. You can not listen to me. You so delusional. You in a place that you're not wanted. No one cares if you're here. Then you in this place arguing with people. Like, go home. Enjoy yourself. Live your life. Like, you standing on something you don't even got to stand on. Once you realize in the real world, like, damn, I don't even got to be here. Why am I here? Like, and you really argue with people. Like, you at a cookout. you like, it's like you driving past. You hopped out and just went to a cookout and everybody going you at you at the cookout. You argue with people at the cookout. Like, why the fuck are you here? Like, you go live your life. Like, you rather argue and sit around and make this shit weird than go live a free, peaceful life.